rocks and gators out there. This is Squeaky at the Burton Forage Center. And Crocky is Nike. And this week we're bringing you Alligator Adventures for Tuesdays on TV. So what is an alligator? Well, in science, we like to classify animals all the way from their kingdom to their species. We call this taxonomy. When we look at American alligators, when we look at the kingdom, they're in the animal kingdom, then we go down to our chordates, the phylum, which means animals with a backbone, all the way down to the class reptiles, to their order, crocodilia, to their family, alligatoridae, genus, alligator, species, Mississippi incense. So what do you call an alligator in a vest? Hmm, an investigator. So let's focus on reptiles because reptiles are such cool creatures, just like our alligators. As a reptile and an alligator, there's five really big characteristics of being a reptile. First characteristic is gonna be an ectotherm. When we talk about ectotherms, that means that they rely on outside heat sources. Ecto meaning outer, thermic meaning heat. So our alligators, like all reptiles, do not produce their own heat, but rely on outside heat sources in order to control their body temperature. Squeaky, what you doing? I'm Carol, basking. <laughs> Another important factor and characteristic is that they have claws, scoots, as well as scales. They also lay eggs that are amniotic eggs. So opposite of chicken eggs that are having a hard shell, our amniotic eggs are very leather-like and soft. They also, as young, you know a baby alligator is going to be an alligator. They don't go through metamorphosis. Instead, when you see a baby alligator, you know that that young is just a miniature version of its adult sized self. And then don't forget, most importantly, like me and you, alligators and all reptiles, they breathe with lungs. So now we're going to be a little more focused into order crocodilia. There are 24 species of living crocodiles right now. And then if you look down in family alligator today, there are only two living species of alligators. So there's the American alligator and the Chinese alligator. And right now we're going to talk a little bit about differences between alligators and crocs. The first difference is that alligators have a big U-shaped snout where crocodiles have a V-shaped snout. And also when alligators mouth or close their mouth kind of look like this. So their top jaw is showing and you can see their top teeth. And then crocodiles they kind of look more snaggle tooth. They've got their top jaw showing and their bottom jaw showing when their mouth is closed. The last way you can tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile is if you have seen it later or in a while. Why can crocodiles never admit that they're wrong? Because they're in denial. Hey, our animal ambassador, Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch is an American alligator and American alligators are known as the keystone species of the maritime forest ecosystem. With the keystone species, their species is so important that if you remove them, the whole ecosystem is in danger of falling apart. Just like the keystone, the stone and the top of a stone arch. Now, in the maritime forest ecosystem, keystone species such as our American alligator, they make alligator holes which provide fresh water for all the other species in the maritime forest. If you're wondering where the word alligator comes from, it comes from a Spanish word, el lagarto, meaning big lizard. So when the Spanish came over to America, they saw these guys and they said, el lagarto. Captain Crunch here is semi-aquatic as an American alligator. And you can kind of see here, he has webbed feet that allow him to swim better. He also has a, some other really cool features, such as a nictating membrane. You kind of see very carefully, there's that inside almost built-in goggles that I want him to see underwater. You can also see if he opens up his little mouth you hear his call. That's what baby alligators do to call for their moms. A lot of reptile species are influenced by temperature when they hatch out of the nest. So for example, alligators are hot dudes and cool chicks while sea turtles are hot chicks and cool dudes. They're very, very territorial. American alligator moms are more territorial for their babies than even bears are. I see he is smiling, but what they have is in the back of their throat, what we call an epiglottis. An epiglottis is a tongue kind of flat closing that closes so when Captain Crunch here is death rolling in the water, he's not taking water in with his food. If you look at Captain Crunch, He's got these cool plates on the top of his body called osteoderms. So osteo meaning bone, derm meaning skin. 
and they protect him because alligators like Aaron Fay, Squeaky talked about are those apex predators. So they've got to be protected when they're getting their prey. Some of you may have been confused in our video, so we would like to point out this is a living alligator and this is our stuffed animal. It's Captain Crunch, Captain Munch. Thanks again everyone for joining us for this week's alligator adventure with Squeaky and Crocky and Nike. Stay tuned for next week's Tuesdays on Tybee and tomorrow's Wednesdays at Wasiga. So we will see you later alligators. Alligators.